All shapes matter. All shapes matter. Meet the characters. Circle, triangle, rectangle, square, octagon. Once upon a time in Turning Corners Elementary School, it was the first day of school for triangles, rectangles, squares, octagons, and circles. <gasps> How exciting. Triangles, rectangles, squares, octagons, and circles had a busy first morning meeting their teachers, learning a lot, and then eating lunch. After lunch, they finally heard an announcement on the school radio they were all eagerly waiting for. <gasps> Recess! All the shapes headed straight to the playground. The squares were the first ones out. They headed straight to the swings. The triangles, rectangles, and octagons then ran over to the other parts of the playground. The triangles headed to the slide, the rectangles headed to the monkey bars, the octagons headed to the tunnel slide. After playing on their own for some time, the shapes decided it was time to play with the other shapes and get to know them better. The triangle introduced herself first. Look at me, said the triangle. I have three sides and three corners. I can make myself like an arrow or make myself look like a slide. The rectangle introduced itself next. Look at me, said the rectangle. I have four sides, four corners, and my opposite sides are equal. That means the same. I can make myself look like a flag or make myself look like a food tray that we use during lunch. The square continued with the introductions. Look at me, said the square. Like the rectangle, I too have four sides and four corners. In fact, I am a special type of rectangle with four equal sides. That means they're all the same. I can get together with other square friends to make a Rubik's cube or make myself look like a diamond that sparkles. The octagon introduced itself last. Look at me, said the octagon. I have eight sides and eight corners. I can make myself look like a trampoline or like a stop sign. At about the time the octagons were done introducing themselves, along came two circles who excitedly asked, can we tell you something about us too? The triangles, rectangles, squares, and octagons had never met a circle before and were not sure how to respond. They said, you have no sides. You have no corners. You look the same no matter how much you turn. You cannot make yourself look like any fun objects. The triangles, rectangles, squares, and octagons told the circles, we cannot play with you. You are not much fun. <gasps> That's not very nice. The circles became very sad because of what the other shapes said they decided to go away to a corner of the playground. Triangles, rectangles, squares, and octagons were so glad they had many sides and corners. Once the circles left, they said to each other, since we have so many sides and corners, let's build something fun together. <gasps> let's build a school bus. Triangles, rectangles, squares, and octagons came up with a plan to build the school bus. I will be the windshield, said Triangle. I will be the windows, said Square. I will be the doors and frame, said Rectangle. I will be the stop sign, said Octagon. The Triangles, Rectangles, Squares, and Octagons worked hard to build the school bus. The hard work of the Triangles, Rectangles, Squares, and Octagons paid off as they finished building the school bus. They all said, Let's take our school bus for a ride. However, there seemed to be a problem as the school bus would not move. Try as they might, the triangles, rectangles, squares, and octagons could not figure out what they were doing wrong. What's missing, friends? Why won't it move? 
Meanwhile, the circles were watching what was going on as the triangles, rectangles, squares, and octagons struggled with the school bus. The circles had an idea. <gasps> what do you think they're going to do? The circles walked over to the school bus and said, We can help you. We may not have any sides or corners, but that's what makes us unique. Our round shape not only allows us to roll around easily, but can also help you to move along. Let us show you what we mean by getting under that fantastic school bus you have built. The circles went under the school bus and just like how the squares became the windows, the rectangles became the doors, the octagons became the stop signs, the circles became the wheels. The circles started turning. The other shapes became overjoyed as their school bus started to move now. The shapes had a lot of fun going around the playground in the school bus. All the shapes were thrilled, happy, and content at what they built together during recess. Back at recess, the triangles, rectangles, squares, and octagons each had something to say to the circles. I'm sorry. The triangles, rectangles, squares, and octagons learned something very important that day. It doesn't matter if you have one side, two sides, three sides, or no sides. It doesn't matter if you have one corner, two corners, three corners, or no corners. It doesn't matter if you can make one object, two object, three objects, or no objects. Circles, we learned our lesson and we are sorry we made you feel bad about yourselves. The circles accepted the apologies and forgave the triangles, rectangles, squares, and octagons. Thank you. We may not all look the same, but we sure can build a lot of fun things if we work together. We need to respect each other despite our differences. The shapes said, it doesn't matter what shape we all come in. The only thing that matters is being nice and accepting each other for who we are. We all need different shapes, with sides or without sides, with corners or without corners. The shapes were so happy to learn such a valuable lesson that they held hands together and shouted, All shapes matter. The end. <laughs>